Uh, Andrew, first of all, a, a warm welcome to Gloss. We haven't haven't spoken yet, but Thank how's you. your first five weeks been in pre-season? Yeah, no, it's been it's been really good. Um, it's been tough. We were kind of there wasn't a much build into the rugby side of, of, of training. We were straight in from day one with uh, that first week. I think it was a heat wave week, so getting into that it was pretty tough. But just just building kind of week on week. It's been pretty short, but it's been intense. Um, and my boys have been training really hard, so it's good to kind of get to that latter stage of it and, and look forward to the game on Saturday. So, And then, um, obviously, for you, it's, it's a move from a different league. Yeah. Um, how much are you looking forward to playing some Gallagher Premiership rugby? Yeah, no, definitely. It was a big factor t- uh, moving down here. I, I, was, I was at Newcastle before in, in the Premiership, just the atmosphere and the fans and, and the quality of rugby. Uh, I can't wait to get started. Um, it's really exciting to be, to be down here, and especially at Gloucester and, and I'm looking forward to playing, hopefully, in King's Home in the next few weeks in front of the fans. When, when it, obviously everyone's back in the stands, it'll be really nice. And obviously, as you mentioned, we've got our first uh, pre-season game the yeah. weekend. Uh, you must be looking forward to getting some stuck in some rugby action yeah. after pre-season. It's, uh, it's been a while to be fair since I played. I think it was March last time I played. I, I got injured at the end of last season, so um, a few cobwebs to blow off this weekend. But I think uh, everyone's looking forward to it. It's been a tough kind of tough four five week pre-season, so to have the prospect of the game at the end of this week has been a big driving factor for a lot of boys um, and that's kind of been our focus is just making sure that we are prepared as best as possible for this game. Uh, and finally, I have to ask, <laughs> um, you're, sitting here, you're sitting here with your head shaved, yeah. how did the milk challenge go for you? Yeah, it was good, it was, um, it was tough. Um, I, I was about six pints in and then, and then Adam, he, he was sick, so that, that set me off. And then once you're sick, uh, Charlie Sharples is there with the uh, with the razor ready to go. So um, it was uh, it was good. My missus was surprised. I don't think I told her when I when we had it done. So I turned up at the house and uh, I think she got a bit of a fright. But no, it's good fun and all the boys kind of buy into it, which is really good. So a few boys completed it to be fair, which was quite unheard of. So um, no, it was good. You've got and to do it. And was it something you were aware of when you signed yeah, for Gloucester? Yeah, uh, well, because I'm good pals with uh, Chris Harris, so from Newcastle and he was telling me well obviously when he moved down he had a big he had a big bald head so <laughs> I was expecting it uh, I, I didn't think I would finish it so I kind of mentally had prepared for it to go so um, nah it's fine it'll grow back but I think I look quite good to be honest good stuff well we're looking forward to seeing you in action uh, at the weekend thank you perfect cheers